Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. So we're going to start off by priming our face. I'm using this primer by the brand Pink Up and I'm just putting that all over my face and I'm just blending that into my skin. Now we're going in with foundation. I'm actually using a tinted hydrator from Wet n Wild and I'm putting that all over my face just as if it was foundation and I'm blending that in with my hands. Now we're going to go ahead and do concealer. Once again, I'm using from the brand Pink Up. And I'm just putting that on all the areas where I think I need them. So that would include my under eyes, under my nose, on my smile lines, at the corners of my mouth, and anywhere where I may have any pimples or blemishes that I want to cover up. Then once I have that where I need it to be, I go ahead and just blend it out with my fingers. This concealer is extremely full coverage, so a little bit goes a very long way. Now we're going to go in with some pressed powder. I'm using this pressed powder by the brand called Bisu, and I'm using a flat brush and tapping that into the areas where I just put my concealer on. Then with that same compact powder, I'm using a fluffy brush and putting that into all the other areas in my face is where I put my foundation. Now we're gonna go in with eyeliner. I'm using this random no-name eyeliner. I typically, however, use the NYX liquid eyeliner. If you want something that is waterproof, smudge-proof, everything-proof, that's gonna be the one for you. But I start off by straight up, just cut the ends of my eyebrows, and then I do a little triangle downwards from my inner corner. Then from the end of the wing that we just did, we're just gonna do a straight line across towards the middle of my eyelid this technique works if you have hooded eyes it's called the bat wing liner then once i have the shape that i'm happy with i go ahead and fill it in now going from the bottom of my eyeliner i do a line tracing my bottom waterline and I end it where my pupil is, the middle of my pupil is, and I go ahead and blend that out. Now we're going to go in with some eyeshadow. I'm using this purple shade and I'm just putting it right under my wing where I just did the black eyeliner for my waterline. It looks a little goofy right now, but we're just going to go ahead and make sure that's blended out. I personally like blending it with my fingers. And now we're going to go in with some highlighter. I have this champagne colored highlighter and I'm putting that on my inner corner all the way towards the middle of my pupil. And I'm taking some extra glitter and putting that right on top. Now I'm taking some mascara and I'm putting that all over my lashes, my top and bottom lashes. Now I'm taking an eyebrow gel and I'm just combing my eyebrows into the shape that I want them to be for this specific cosplay. So I usually comb upwards and then push it down. Now, once the gel has dried, I take a concealer and I put that all over my eyebrows and pat that in. Now with some pressed powder, I'm going to go ahead and set that in. Now I'm taking a flat brush and some purple eyeshadow and I'm just tracing over my eyebrows. Now we're going to go ahead and do our contour. I'm taking this brown eyeshadow and I'm first off doing a straight line across my nose. Then from there, I follow my natural nose line and just trace the eyeshadow up towards my eyebrows. 
Now, it ends up looking a little messy, so I go ahead and put some concealer on the bridge of my nose, and I blend that out. Now, if I end up covering too much, I go ahead and put some more brown eyeshadow on top, but very lightly. And now with that same brown eyeshadow, I go ahead and do my contour. I just swipe upwards from the corner of my mouth and angle it towards my eyeliner. And I blend it out with the fluffy bit of that brush. Then we're going to go in with blush. I'm using this blush from Wet n Wild. It's a stick, so I just go ahead and do two little spots on my cheeks and on my chin, and I blend that out with my fingers. Now we have our base makeup done. We're going to go ahead and start doing our nose for Bonnie. So I do a straight line across the middle of the button of my nose and lead it towards the ends of my nose. Then I go ahead and fill that in with some gray eyeshadow. Then I realize it's actually not dark enough, so I'm using some black eyeliner and filling that in in the same spot. Now with a flat brush, I'm using that same gray eyeshadow and I'm doing a straight line down from my nose. Then from my bottom lip, I'm doing the same line towards my chin. Then I go to my inner corner and I do a line straight across and I do the same on the other side. Then I go ahead and connect those two lines in the middle. And I also go ahead and do a straight line out from where my wing is. Then from the line that I have on top of the bridge of my nose, I'm doing a line straight down towards the button of my nose. And then from the top part of that bridge line, I go ahead and do a line straight up towards my forehead. Now from the corners of my mouth, I'm making a line that's angling upwards. And at the end of that line, I'm making another line that's angling even more up. And then from that line, we're making another line angling upwards again, but not as up as the other lines, if that makes sense. Then from where the bottom of that line I did down to my chin, I'm gonna bring that down all the way to my neck. Now I'm taking some more of that gray eyeshadow and I'm just putting that under the lines that I just made. These are going to serve as shadows for our face. And then with a fluffy brush, I'm blending that out. And we're going to do the same thing for the line on my nose bridge as well as the lines that I did leading out towards my eyeliner. Now, I'm taking this black eyeshadow and I'm putting it on my top lip and using it kind of as lipstick. Now, with a white pencil, I'm tracing on top of any place where I also put shadows. And that's the makeup look. Let's put on our costume. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you're interested in the ears, I do have a template up on my Etsy shop for them. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye!